Hi everyone, in this video we are going to use Power Automate to query Salesforce for certain accounts that have empty values on a specific field. Salesforce JSON code for accounts only contains code for fields that have a value. So in this case, we will use a condition that looks for the specific name of the field. So that way we narrow down to the accounts where the field is empty. Let's get started. So we're going to build an instant cloud flow so we can manually trigger this flow anytime that we want. Let's click create. The first action that we need is a get records action. So that's going to be a Salesforce connector. So if we just type in get records, we should see that connector here right at the top, which is a premium connector. And right off the bat, we're going to rename this to accounts so that we know it's going to get accounts. And here's where we can type in accounts in the object type. And now we need to set our parameters. So we're going to click the drop down for advanced parameters and we're going to select filter query. And then in the filter query, we want to only pull uh, current accounts, account types. So we don't want any prospect accounts or suspect accounts. We only want current accounts. So for that, we're going to do type equals and we're going to do customer. We're also going to do partner types. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. So if we're writing a or condition or a condition with or in it, it's going to look something like this. So now that we have our filter query set, we're going to add our next action, which is another Salesforce action. So this one is just get record because we want to get one single individual record. And what we're doing is we're getting that individual record from the results of our get records action. So again, we're, we're going to be looking at accounts. And then the record ID is going to be the dynamic content of our get record accounts, get records accounts. So we're looking for account ID. Now that's going to automatically put in a for each action because for each of the accounts that's returned by this action, we're going to do some more actions underneath here. And we'll rename this to get record, which is a single account with type of customer or partner. Now we set up our condition because this is where we need to filter to just show the accounts where the specific field is that we're looking for is empty. So the JSON code returned by this action here is only going to, as I mentioned earlier, contain the fields where there is a value present in those fields. So what we need to do to find the accounts where that value is empty and therefore is not in carried over in that JSON code. So for that, we add a condition and in the settings and the parameters of our conditions, we want to select the body of the get record action. So that would be here. And then we want to use the contains condition and then the value is going to be the api name of that empty field so the api name in this case the field that i'm looking at is called company domain and so the api name is this and now of course if you are needing to find that you can find that in your object manager area of salesforce so now that I've set that, I'm going to set a very simple impose action for the true, because in this case, I want to take a further action for any of the accounts that don't have that a value in that field. Um, so for the true, if it does contain, then in that case, all I want to return is that value, right? Or you can just have it do nothing. But um, just to show you in the finished pro project, 
in the finished product what that looks like. So we're going to search for that field, which is company domain from our get record action. And we'll put that in there. Now for our false, what we wanna do is we wanna return those accounts into a table. So I already have an Excel file in OneDrive and it's already got headers on it. And so in order to take this next step, you'll need to take the actions first to create your file, your Excel file and add headers to it and then add a table to it. Because this action that we're gonna add here is add a row into a table. So if we search add a row, going to be add a row into a table, Excel online for business. And then here's where we will select our location, our document library, and then our file. So wherever you save that file, follow your folder path to get there. And then finally select your table to make sure that you've had first you have created or added a table to that file. And if you have then down here under advanced parameters, if you just click show all, you'll see all of the column headers that you have added to that table. And what I've done is I've just created my column headers to be the same name as the Salesforce uh, objects. So we have account name. So if I click dynamic content, I can grab the dynamic content from our get record action and line it up there. And then we've got account ID. And of course I can do a faster search this way to get my information that I need. And then we have account type. So I type in type and I grab account type. And I also wanna include a few other details of, about the account. So I'll fill those in as well. I've got segment, I've got region, and I've got subregion. So I'll just quickly add those. Last one is subregion. Now I've added everything I want. So what this flow is going to do is update that Excel file by inserting the rows where of the account where the company domain is empty. So now that we have all of that filled, we're gonna save and we're gonna test. Before we run our test, I'm gonna show you the file here that I have in OneDrive. And so that right now is, is empty, but we're gonna fill that out with this flow. So we'll go ahead and we'll test. It's a manual test because it's a manual trigger. Now we'll go ahead and continue and run flow done. And we'll let that run. And it's gonna pull in quite a few records first that meet the criteria that we set in our get records action. And then next, it's going to filter those ones out where the company domain field has a value. And then finally, it will add those that do not have that value to our spreadsheet here. And if we click over here, then we can see our spreadsheet is updating in real time as that flow runs. So that's going to do it. I hope that you found this video helpful. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.